Hey everyone, this is Tim from SmartHomeMastery.com and uh, today I'm going to do a little video tour of my home theater. I've had several people ask me about that, so a little update of where I am with it. Um, so I thought I would start actually outside here, because um, as you've seen from some of my, several of my other videos, um, my I have a second story home theater, um, which has pluses and minuses, and so I thought I would start out here and just give you a quick tour of the outside of where my home theater is in relation to the rest of my house and uh, it's a beautiful chilly uh, fall day here in Vermont so I thought I would start with this view and uh, and then we'll uh, pan over here to my garage so this is my garage and there's the home theater up there so you can see the windows the shades are currently closed and so down here is the garage is the door to the garage uh, there's the heat pump for the home theater and then you can see there's it's the rest of my house so it's chilly it's so like the boilers running um, but you can see again this is the there's the home theater there's the rest of the house So we'll take a walk into the garage here. So there's where the you can see the heat pump line here um, running up and over. And I'll show you where that is up in the home theater in a minute. Um, as you can see, my uh, garage isn't finished yet, so <clears throat> still got to insulate and put the uh, drywall up but I have some more wiring I need to run to get uh, before I can do that so go around here this is a heated garage um, it's uh, we have radiant in the floor we heat in the winter time with a pellet boiler actually heats the whole house um, has backup uh, to propane and uh, I might do a video on that actually it's kind of a cool setup um, it's hard to see there, but there's a power line right there that goes up through the floor that goes to the island. There's going to be some more low voltage lines running there um, because that's where the uh, subwoofers are going to go in the island. I have three more subwoofers I'm going to be putting in. Um, let's see here. Let's see if we can get a shot of this without the light, maybe. But there's a floor box right there. Yep. And that's. Um, that floor box is going to be where the power is for the home theater seating. And I can show you that when we get up there too. The wire is long right now because I uh, I need to still pull the floor box out. I didn't want to staple everything up. So like I said, I got, um, sorry about again about the messy garage here. One of our uh, 100 amp sub panels is a 200 amp service um, main panels in the basement, and then I have 200 amp subs up here in the first floor. Um, some of the power from the home theater comes out of this one, and some of it comes out of another one actually just on the other side of the wall um, in a closet. So here's the there's the home, there's the uh, Home theater is up above this it's a shot of the garage. So let's uh, pop in here to the living room. Sorry about the uh, washer running. So here's the stairs to the home theater. And they're kind of messed up. From actually taking the subwoofers up here with an appliance dolly <laughs> there's the actually I should have had that on but there's the my digital movie poster that I've uh, have a video for you can I'll maybe link that video in there in here later and so I wanted to come in here first with the lights off to show you I think I've you probably seen this in my other videos but what's behind the actual screen. This is a 140 inch uh, Seymour screen. We have three 
um, DIY sound group Titan 615s. And in this, in between those are two um, custom built uh, subs tuned at 17 hertz. So let's go ahead here and get the, as you can see, it was daylight outside, but in here, the electric lines are all shut. Roller shades, which again, another video on that, which you've probably seen, but if not, I can link that too. Um, and this is with this door open still. It gets, it gets really dark in here with everything shut. So let's uh, get the regular lights on here. So these are all um, columns that I built inside each of these. Uh, or it's going to be at least. It will be a, a DIY sound group Volt 10. Uh, right now I have four of the eight that I need. I got to build four more of those. Um, those, I think I built, I did a video on those as well on how to build those and get them off easily. Um, you can see, um, got some movie posters here. We've got a train, a model train that actually runs through the columns. We've got lots of Legos. <laughs> My kids and I decided we're going to do the train set and then use Legos to for the scenery and as you can see we're big disney fans although that poster behind there isn't a disney one um so we got the cinderella castle there we got the train station we probably are going to actually do the millennium falcon as well and put that up here um that's just that's just a roller coaster set um from lego got a few smaller sets as well but um so seating is obviously still on the list <laughs> right now we just got uh, a couple old recliners uh, but there's the floor box that I was mentioning so this is where the home theater seating is going to go and then you can see from the island that I mentioned uh, we have three let's see if I can get a better shot of this we have three openings here and there's going to be three more subs that go in there um, kind of for the tactical um, the tactical feel um, from the seating being right here um, so it, on the island, there is a concrete, I built a concrete countertop. So you can see this all has uh, rebar in it and, and steel mesh. So we poured that on um, building a melamine form. And then uh, took about eight people to lift it up and put it on top of this island. Uh, the island is uh, built out of three quarter inch uh, plywood so you can see it's, it's uh, the other cabinets that are around here are all MDF this is actually three quarter inch plywood to hold up the weight of the island so all of these all of this cabinets here are all uh, built out of MDF um, all the ones that go around for the the, the big horseshoe I call it So those are all made out of MDF with poplar trim. So if we come back here, make sure you can have that light, get a shot of the screen. So that's uh, the 140 inch Seymour screen. It sounds like our sheepdog's coming up. <laughs> there she is. So there's the columns. It's actually going to be a 9.2.4. So I'm going to actually eventually have four Atmos speakers. There'll be two for the front row, which is where the main seating will be. And then and there'll be two up here as well on the ceiling here for, uh, for this back row. And there'll be two like right up right up on that ceiling up there. I'll turn, actually, I'm going to turn the LED lights on here in a second. Here's the... The heat pump I was talking about. So this does all the heating and cooling for this room. Like as I mentioned, the the um, the garage below is heated, so it's more of a more it needs more cooling than it does heating really. Even here in Vermont. Um, here's the rack. 
area. So we have equipment rack, and then <laughs> I haven't done a video on this yet, but I am going to. So that's actually on rails and on wheels. And there's a linear actuator that is going to, that runs off from this switch right here, this red switch. So once I get this full, I'm going to have all the blanks on the rack. Um, that will actually be a hidden room. So you won't even see the room behind it. And you'll just hit the switch and it will pull the whole rack back. Um, it actually moves very smoothly. It rolls on uh, on these rails really easily. So the linear actuator, even when it's full with the, the amps and stuff, it, it shouldn't have any problem pulling it back. So this is where all my wiring goes. Um, it's a tray that I built um, with all of the conduit smurf tube. I think it's called, <laughs> is what it's called. Um, and I put uh, PVC going down into all of my boxes. I got a box there for all my LED lighting. I got a box that uh, wires that come back from the columns. Um, I don't know if I can get a shot of this over here. Try. This is all of my uh, all of the wiring. All I'm sorry. All of the switching for the lighting in the home theater. I think there's like ten zones of lighting. And it's all Insteon stuff. And uh, here's the box with all of the speaker wire in it. So that all that wire goes up. All those go to the columns, and the wiring comes down here. Um, you can see I kind of looped it. Um, give it a little slack so that when the rack moves in and out, it won't. Uh, bind anything. It's the amp, iNuke amp for the, it's a 6000 DSP for the two subs behind the screen. And right now, I just have a GZ Sony um, AV, AVR for uh, for the running the room. And I'm gonna, I'm hoping to do a Marantz, um, Marantz uh, 8805, I think it is. Um, I'm also looking at some other stuff too, so I don't I haven't really decided yet on what I'm doing with audio, but audio wise I'm happy right now. I am actually currently in the market for a projector though, because I had a temporary Mitsubishi, older Mitsubishi one. It was actually only a 720p, so quite old, um, that I was using temporarily and that the bulb just died in it and I and I know I can get another bulb again. I think it's like my third bulb I've had in it. But I decided it's it's time to go with the 4k so looking at the jvc nx7 um because i do want the lens memory uh but i also am looking at maybe like a sony 295 or something with and then just getting a lens for it a slide for it so let's uh let's see if i can come around here and uh the, the shades are going to open at like 10 o'clock i'm not sure what time it is but it's close to that in the morning here you got different scenes that are set up and so on my switches here you know I haven't labeled these yet but I'll be getting custom labels for them <laughs> and honestly I don't even remember which one's which so let's just try a couple so that's one I think this is the one where it turns the LEDs on let's see if we can get a shot of that it turns the LEDs on up in the tray but leaves the other lights on so I think this is like my previews uh, uh, theme so that people can still walk around and get ready for the movie before it starts and then there will be another theme that actually shuts off all of the uh, cans around uh, and the, you probably heard that little beep that it also that mode also would have shut the shades but since they were already shut it didn't do anything um, although they probably they may open up here pretty soon but there's the LED tray lighting. I, I have a video on that too. Um, so yeah, and there's all the screen and the speakers. Hopefully, be doing a video here soon with um, my new projector, whatever one I decide to decide to get. But it's going to be a 4K projector. I should I can show you that a little bit too. Um, it's all pre-wired. See if I can shot. There's the uh, there's the outlet for it, and then the tray. The tray up in there. You can see there's a box with some Cat Six wiring out of there too. But there's actually a uh, there's actually a conduit that runs all the way down here, goes around, and then all the way down into the closet down there. And so I'll build. That's what I'm gonna push my HDMI cable through. So it's uh, so these are all 
all have been and they actually are insulated all of the soffits are insulated you can kind of see it's hard to see now but um there's a track up above the screen um let's see if i can show that kind of see it there so this white track and so that's actually going to be a uh a, a curtain automated curtain as well so here's the motor for it over here two motor um, similar to the ones that I used in the roller shades and so um, I just got to figure out what kind of cur curtain material I want I think I'm going to do some kind of felt or something and uh, I want to have that so it will actually uh, close up to you know if I'm if I'm just doing 16.9 content it will the curtain will close up to the edges um, and mask out the rest of the screen So I think that's essentially it. Um, if anybody has any specific questions or anything they want to know about my home theater, or if there's anything you see here that you'd like me to do a little tutorial on, I think I have pretty good pictures of most everything I've done here. So I should be able to do up a quick tutorial. A lot of my videos you'll notice are just uh, me talking against stills and that's because I've already done it and I only had stills. Um, and it's honestly a lot easier when you're doing it yourself. It's a lot easier to uh, just take photos once in a while than to keep trying to shoot video while you're doing something. But yeah, you know, uh, there's you know I forgot there's a stage here, right, which I know I've done a video on that too. Second floor, as I mentioned, uh, over uh, has its pluses and minuses, I guess. Uh, you know, normally people are building home theaters in their basement. I know one of the big things is they load these stages up with sand just to give it a bunch of mass. Obviously, don't want to do that in the second floor. Um, even though we have really good TJI floor joists here and everything, and it is you know this it's all rated for um, normal use. Uh, you know, filling a stage up with sand probably isn't isn't good for a second floor. So, I I had a, have a video on how I did mine. Basically, just filled the cavities with insulation. And it's completely floating and sitting on rubber mats, um, which is kind of cool because you can't really tell it is, but that stage actually isn't attached to anything. It's just kind of floating there. Um, and uh, it's on rubber mats. And then actually all the, the, I think all the speakers, yeah, I think I did it with all of them. These are all sitting on little rubber pieces themselves. So um, it actually absorbs a lot of the vibration. I, I, I was up here testing this out and I had it on like, you know, ear bleeding levels. And I went down and asked my wife if she heard it and she said, heard what? So <laughs> it's uh, even though like this wall right here is actually shared with the upstairs of the house. So on the other side of this is the master bath. Um, so it's actually you know, all attached. Um, it's, it, it, you, you, can, you can be up here with it at really high levels and uh high volume and not being the it being the rest of the house and not even know it which is really cool because i did minimal sound um proofing in here the walls all have a uh, half inch osb um and then half inch drywall over them and then the ones um the ones in between the house over here uh everything's also all the seams are also cocked with uh acoustic caulking but that's it. That's all I did. <laughs> and, uh, and it works really well. Um, so I guess that's all for this video. Uh, if anybody has any questions again on anything they want to, anything they want to see more of or anything they want to know how I did it. Um, I'll hopefully I'll be doing again videos here on my, on a, on a projector soon. And also, uh, some seating. Uh, we got some more speakers to build, um, some more subs to build. And so, uh, I guess if, uh, if you have any questions on those things, please just stick them in the comments and I'll be happy to do a video on it when I can. And, uh, until then, thanks for watching.